I'm Greg Fossilman Raymer. Now that we've taught you all the fundamentals of poker math, we're going to give you a quick primer on a few more advanced theories related to the game. Our first topic is something you may have heard some players talking about at the table at your local casino, M. So what is M? In short, your M represents the strength of your stack in relation to the cost of playing an orbit of tournament poker. To put it another way, your M is equal to your chip stack divided by the cost of the blinds and the antes that you need to pay each orbit around the table. For example, let's say that you have 4,000 chips, blinds are 100-200 with a 25 ante. If you're at an eight-handed table, this means each orbit will cost 500 chips. Dividing 4,000 by 500, you have an M of 8 which means that you can survive for eight orbits of the table before being blinded out of the tournament. Now that we understand what M is, the next question, what does it mean? According to Dan Harrington, one of the top pros in the game, there are five levels or M zones that you should understand. The green zone, this is where you have an M of more than 20 and you can just play your normal game. Yellow is where your M is between 10 and 20 and you need to find a way to pick up some pots to survive additional orbits. Orange, your M is between 6 and 10. Your stack may be too short to re-steal pre-flop, which means you have to pick your spots and try to be the first one into the pot. Red, your M is less than 5, and your only move is all in. Again, try to be the first person into the pot. And the final level is dead. Your M is less than one, and you're just going to be pushing your stack into the middle with basically any two cards. Now, as your table gets short-handed, you're going to be paying the blinds more often than you would at a full table. In this case, you should adjust your M calculation to compensate for the faster pace of play. This is called determining your effective M. For example, let's say you're at a five-handed table, and you have a true M of 12. To calculate your effective M, multiply your true M, 12, by the number of players at the table, 5, and then divide the answer 60 by 10. In this case, instead of having an M of 12 being in the yellow zone, you actually have an effective M of 6 and you're in the orange zone. Now that you know what your M is, let me ask you a question. If your M is yellow, or between 10 and 20, what should you be doing at this point?